Hey folks, we're at it again. We're gonna go out, hit up a couple pawn shops, some game stores, see if we can find some bargains on games. It's gonna be kind of my normal route again today, but I think what I'm gonna do is, in the future here, I might hit up a couple different towns, see if I can find some more bargains, but if you're enjoying the video game hunt, make sure you like and subscribe. Support for the channel is always appreciated, but let's see if we can find some games. Ended up with some really good deals at that video games, etc. They had the buy three, get one free promo going on. So I put together two bundles. First one was for about $15. I picked up a copy of Metal Gear 5. And then two copies of Metal Gear 4. Both of these are going to be complete. This is a game that I have a lot of luck with. This is one of the bread and butter games that I find for about $5. Routinely sell it for about $18, which is a pretty good double up there. And then for my free game, it was going to be a copy of Perfect Dark Zero. Thought this would be a little more expensive. Uh, it's a free $4 game with the uh, Xbox only tag on there. A lot of games with that have been uh, blowing up quite a bit uh, with the Xbox store shutting down. But, you know, for that bundle, about $16 was really solid. And then my other bundle that I put together, uh, about three $10 games and then a little something else there. Uh, picked up a copy of Bayonetta Complete for PS3. A disc-only copy of Venetica. This is one I had a really nice complete copy of. Uh, kind of regret selling it, but really solid disc. Um, look clean. I just need to find a box for this at some point and manual. Aliens Isolation. Both discs look really good in here. Complete. And then a little something. I couldn't find anything else I wanted, so I just picked up a copy of Black Ops 2 in case I get the itch to play some zombies. But all of that together, I think we were about $45 or so on that. Really solid deal. Stopped at a couple Goodwills. I struck out at the first one, but the second one definitely was expecting a couple GameCube games. Uh, two copies of Medal of Honor, Rising Sun, and then uh, Frontline as well. Both of these are complete manual. Disc looks good. Couldn't be happier with those. I thought it was pretty funny too. There was a copy of Madden 04 as well as debating picking up. Uh, it is the best Madden. Tell me I'm wrong. I'm not. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, that was pretty cool because both of these had come out just the day before. Kind of wondering if I missed out on some grails. GameCube, there are some really solid titles on there that are hard to find. But getting each of these for $4 a piece, I thought that was an awesome deal. Not a bad find, was able to get Prince of Persia, Sands of Time, for $5. It's complete, disc looked really clean. Not a bad pickup. Not a bad stop at Money and More. Ended up with four games. First of all, I picked up a copy of L.A. Noir. This is complete. 
not a super valuable game, but I've been picking up this in the Black Ops games, uh, some of the, your AAA titles if they're really nice, complete condition. So $3 for that one was pretty good. Pretty pleasantly surprised to find a copy of Enter the Matrix uh, for original Xbox, complete as well. Very cool game. I forgot how good the box art on this looked, but $2 on that one. And then lastly, a couple copies of Viva Pinata. Um, it's got the Xbox only exclusive. Um, a lot of games with that have been doing really well lately. Also too, some reason on Amazon, this is an expensive game. I don't get it. It's still kind of normally priced on eBay, but all of that for about $11 was a pretty good deal. Ended up with a lot of variety, a lot of different games on a lot of different consoles. It was a really pleasant surprise to find some GameCube games at a Goodwill. Don't run into those too often. I didn't talk about it earlier, but I ended up finding three copies of NBA 2K21, all sealed at a Walmart while I was doing some errands. Dollar a piece, I don't think you can go wrong for any sealed game. Viva Pinata was definitely a surprise, but probably my favorite pickup was a copy of Venetica. At all my stops, I ended up spending $79, and ended up with roughly, based on eBay comps, about $236 worth of games. You may have noticed that both copies of Metal Gear 4 are gone. Both of those ended up selling on eBay right away, within a day or two, for $18 a piece. After fees and shipping, I ended up with about $11 on both of those, which means I was able to get everything here for just $57. Wasn't too bad of a week. If you made it this far, make sure you go ahead and drop a like and subscribe. Good luck game hunting, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.